Now in the last tutorial we spoke about conditional statements. This time we'll be talking about loop statements. We use loop statements to repeat certain actions. And the very first common loop statement is for loop. So the syntax goes like for and then in round brackets we first need to initialize the counter. So counter let's say is i. So let i equals 0. I initialize it to 0. Then you need to give the condition. So let's say the condition is i is less than 10 and I want to continue till i is less than 10 and increment the value by 1 i plus plus in every iteration. And in the statements I just write console.log and let's say i square i multiplied by i. So if you run this you see 0, 1, 4. So it prints the squares of all the values starting from 0. So 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1 and then 2 square 4 and similarly it moves towards 9. And it didn't uh, print for 10 because we have given the condition i is less than 10. And as it reaches to the 10, it simply moves out of this loop statement. So that is how the logic works. Now, let's say uh, we don't have the counter. We don't know where, till where we need to uh, move from 0 to 10 or whatever. We have an array of elements. So let's say the array is let a double r is the array. And values are let's say 11, 22, 33, 44, 55 and 66 and to, today let's say we have 6 values, tomorrow we can have more values as well. We don't know the size of it for example. So if you want to iterate through all the values of this array, in that case you can use the syntax for and then in round brackets. So let lm of array, right? lm is just a variable I have used for, uh, uh, for assigning the values of this array one by one to this element, right? So first of all, it will be getting the first value. Secondly, when it moves to the second iteration, it will get the second value and it will continue till it reaches to the last. And then when it reaches to the last after that, it will just move out of this loop statement. And you can see here inside the uh, loop statement, we are just using console.log. So it prints all those values of the array. Okay, so this is the use of uh, for and off loop, right? Now let's say inside, uh, instead of the array we have uh, let's say a string and let's say it's my name uh, and if I use the same logic for, for this as well so it prints every character uh, of this string. So if you use off it basically split down that string into characters right. There is another uh, syntax of this for uh, loop on the arrays where we use in instead of off. Right, let's see what happens. Again, let's see we have uh, the same array 11, 22, 33 uh, that, that array we had for numbers and instead of uh, off I'm using in. So now we have seen it is not printing the values. The values were 11, 22, 33 but it is printing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The reason is when we use in it actually prints the index. It is not printing the values. Right, to print the values what you need to do is so I just change, for example, the uh, variable name so that you don't get confused. So it is actually index. And if you want to print the values, you need to use array uh, name, which is a double r. And then in uh, square brackets, you need to give the index number. So this is how you can retrieve the values of that array, right? This is for in loop, right? So we have seen simple for loop with uh, number uh, with, with the counter. We have seen a loop uh, for loop with for and off. Uh, and we have seen an example with string and array and now we have seen a for loop with in. Next we have while loop, right? So let's say uh, we want to achieve same thing using while loop. So here in while loop we just need to give condition. We don't uh, have provision to give the uh, initialize the counter or increment the counter. So that thing we need to do outside here. So let a e uh, equals 10 and the type of a is number and let's say the condition is a is less than 20 till then I want to print on console the value of a but since we are not incrementing or decrementing the value of a it will be an infinite loop so that thing we need to handle inside the while loop right so again this is very similar to the for loops which we have seen uh, at the first which is uh, for a equals 10 and then a less than 20 and then a plus plus right it is exactly similar to that one right and you will see the output same now let's say I make it a greater than 100 you know that 10 is not greater than 100 the condition is failing in the very first attempt it is not going to print anything right so uh, let's say you have a scenario where you want to execute the statements at least once 
and then you compare the condition. So for that, we have another loop, which is do while loop, right? So you have a do block inside that you have written console.log and then a plus plus. And then after that, you are checking condition, right? So the value of a is 10 and it is not greater than 100. Even then it is going to print that value for the first time, right? Then it increments to, let's say one uh, to 11 by one, it is incrementing. And then it checks the condition because 11 is still less than 100. So it is not going inside the uh, do block again and it will just move out of it, right? Now I change the condition to let's say a is less than 20. Now you will see it prints 11 and then it comes to the condition check which says 11 is less than 20 which is true and then it prints 12, 13, 14 and it prints the values till 19, right?